water. If you do not have water, grab water now. Uh, today's workout is going to be one of the more traditional ones we've done. We have some cardio, we have some strength. We are going to be doing a minute interval instead of 40 seconds um, because the number of the exercises we have for the lower body are dual sided. So we have 30 seconds of one side of the body and 30 seconds of the other. Um, with that being said, we had a funky workout on Friday. Um, for those who are there, I'm curious if anyone has feedback, if we like the mobility stuff, um, the balancing on one leg, how you feel about that. And if you are not there on Friday, do not fear. There's another Friday coming up this week and we will do another funky mobility workout. So let's go ahead and get connected. Awesome. And for our upper body, we're going to start with our traditional work. We have the wrist curls, the tricep extension, and the bicep curl. Let's go ahead and come on up. And before we get started, I want us to explore our neck a little bit. Um, we've talked about this in previous sessions. Go ahead and start your cycles. Um, in Japan, they do what they call katsu beauty, where they kind of do some interesting neck, ex neck exercises. Um, we are not going to do anything for the purpose of beauty today, except for developing our own muscles. Um, but we are going to do some of these movements just to open up the neck a little bit. So just to start pulling the shoulders away from your ears, start to drop left ear over towards left shoulder. And we're going to make a little half circle, chin to the chest, right ear to right shoulder, chin to chest, back over to the other side. So go ahead and keep going to these movements, rotating over one way and then the other. Each time you do it, getting that ear a little bit closer towards your shoulder to help open up the side of the neck. Good, we'll say two more. Last one. Good, and as we stack the head on top of the spine, keep pulling the shoulders down. We're gonna start to do a couple funky head movements. So it's just starting to move the head side to side. Doing our best to stabilize and not move the rest of the body. You can even clasp your hands if that makes it easier. And, and then other plane of motion, start to move the head forwards and backwards. So my spine does not move at all. My belly, my chest do not move. I'm working the head forwards and backwards in the neck joint. And then last movement we'll do for our neck, we're gonna make a full circle. Go ahead and drop your left ear to left shoulder, chin into chest, right ear to right shoulder, drag the back of the head along the back, make as big a circle as you can, and then take two more circles, same direction, working through this range of motion. Good. Working through any kinks, cracks, stickiness. And come back through center. Let's work the other way. Right ear to right shoulder. Chin into chest. Left ear to left shoulder. Bring the head all the way back and around. Let's take two more. And last one. All right, get the shoulders a roll. We are ready to get moving today. First exercise is wrist curls. We're doing a full minute. We're doing two sets. The first set is in, the second set is up. So starting with the fist, the knuckles facing forward, make fist, one minute, wrist curls, up and up, getting into the form. And as you're doing this, keep those arms really straight. Keep pressing the shoulders, the hands away from the body, getting into the Forearm. Awesome. Good. I'm starting to wake the body up. We've got our full minute. 
We're gonna take a bit of a rest and then we'll do our second set. So this is my pace today as I'm warming up my body. If you wanna go faster and you can sustain that for a full minute, great. 30 more seconds. Good. Up and up, wrist curls, keep growing taller. Last 10. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Ooh, that minute makes a difference, at least for me, versus that 40 second interval makes it a lot harder. That's what we want. All right, my band was a little low. Awesome, now we're good to go. Second set, we're going upward wrist curls. Same muscle, same motion, different direction. One minute, ready, set, here we go. Option to add a little bit of speed here if you want. Really pump up those forms. And we've talked about American Ninja Warrior before. When I see that show, I always think what incredible forearm strength they have. Because those guys and gals are like, keep going, are like hanging on to things and like, oh, it's just wild. So channeling our inner American Ninja Warrior today, getting those forearms going. Awesome, half done. Mm -hmm. Good. Keep growing taller. A little taller. Burn them out. All in. 15 more seconds. Go, go, go. If you don't feel like you are barely able to keep going, then you can go faster or you can make your cycle harder. It's food for thought for our next couple exercises. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oof. Forearm stretch. Extend the right hand away from the body. Pull the fingers in towards the body. And switch hands. All right. Next minute, we have our tricep extension. Now, we are not supporting any body weight here. So I want you to move through these. If you have it in you, speed, by all means, do that. So that we can really burn out these baby muscles, okay? So first minute, draw the elbows in. For these ones, we're gonna extend the fingers fully back behind us, just like we do for our forearm fireworks. Pull them in, extend back. You can almost let them fall to pull them in because the movement is really about pushing out. Okay, one minute, we are rolling. So imagine you're almost like throwing a ball or something, two balls, back behind you. Out, out, out. And if you wanna go faster, do it, yeah. You guys keep going. I'm going to see who we've got on with us today. Oh, good to see you, Bonnie. Amazing. Cool. And I know I'm a broken record and I keep saying it, but as you do this, keep pulling your shoulders away from your ears. We don't want to hunch up and that upper trapezius muscle get strained more than it needs to. Half done. Out. Out. Yes. Good. Get that pinky finger up even higher. Up, up, last 15 seconds, go, go. All right, core is engaged as well. All in, last 10. Yes, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Quick rest, roll the shoulders out, shrug them up, hug them back, shrug them up, hug them back. Second set, let's jump right into it. We're going all in today, here we go. Bend the knee, one minute, tricep extension. Good, reach, 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 cool. Ooh, I'm burning already. <laughs> Bands start going, things get kind of crazy. And out, feel free to add speed. So the slower you go, the more we're building bulk muscle. The faster you go, the more you're building lean muscle. But we want to try and keep a fast enough pace that we're working enough to tire those muscles out. Ooh, half done. Great. Core is engaged. Reach. Reach. Awesome. Bring it home last 15 seconds. Don't stop now. After this, we're going to do a cap refill in 10, 
nine, give me eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Tap, refill, check, just to make sure we are still getting enough blood. Hands up, press the base of your palm, should turn from white until normal color in about three seconds. If it's a lot longer than that, your bands are probably on a little too tight. All right, good job on the triceps. Let's work into our bicep muscles with bicep curls. Hands down by the sides. You know this move, you know the pace you need to go. We have two whole minutes of bicep curls with a break in between. So let's make them good. First minute, here we go. In, down, up, down. So on the triceps, we really wanted to focus on that push back. This one, we really need to focus on that curl up, release, up, release, and that's it. Wow. Those tricep extensions are even harder for me than some of the ones we do when we support our body weight because we did a whole minute. It's crazy. Pump it. Up. Mm -hmm. Now, knowing the options we have, either a little bit slower builds a slightly bulkier muscle or a little bit faster builds leaner muscle, you can pick here for the last 30 seconds the pace you want for the body you want to continue to build. Good. Up. And if you weren't here on Friday, I recommend checking out the Friday video for the workout because it was funky and it was hard and it was a lot of balance and mobility, which is great for all of us. We'll repeat some of it this week. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Woo, shake it out. Now, depending on how hard that was, now is the time to adjust the cycle accordingly if you need to. Okay, we're half done with the bicep curl. Second set, arms come down. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Pump, pump. Yeah. Extra challenge. Try not to let your arms fully straighten out at any point throughout this work. So we don't need to let them fall. We pull, pull, pull. The pulling muscles as opposed to the triceps, the pushing muscles. In. Great. Whew. We're all going to be so strong by the end of the summer. Not that we're not already strong, but we're going to be even stronger. Good. Half done. Whew. Squeeze those elbows in. Up. Up. Make sure no other part of the body is moving. So slight engagement of the core, the glutes. Stay nice and tall. Pump it. Yep. Last 15 seconds. Now let's go all in. Here we go. Up. 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 Give me 10. Nine, eight, keep going. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, my goodness. Shake it all out. Grab a quick sip of water. We have two more exercises to go a forearm plank exercise and a high plank exercise. Good job, gang. It's Monday. We're getting stronger. All right. Next exercise, forearm plank lateral lift. The intention of this exercise is to strengthen the chest, to strengthen the triceps and the shoulders, but also to strengthen the muscles of your back between your shoulder blades. So as you do these, I want to see powerful lifts side to side. I come down into my forearms. I go up, down up, down. Each time that you do it, I want you to see you pull your elbow back as much as you can without letting the body move. So my hip bones stay staring at the ground the whole time. Lift, down, lift, down. All right, one minute. Make your way into forearm plank. We're going in three, two, and one. Forearm plank, lateral lift. Good. Keeping that core strong to make sure that the body doesn't move, only the arms are doing the movement. Nice, Bonnie. Awesome, Jim. Great. I love it. Half done. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Last 15 seconds. Focus on how high you can lift that arm out to the side instead of how fast you can go here. So really working into it. Good, last six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job. Woo, take a break, release the shoulders. So in total, between this and the rest of our plank work, we're doing a whole four minutes of plank today, and that's pretty powerful stuff. Let's make our way back down for minute two. Forearm plank, lateral lift, one minute in three, two, one, up, out, side to side. And the wider you step your feet, the easier this will be. So adjust your base accordingly. Nice. Mm -hmm. Good, thinking about those muscles of the back. Making sure that the hips and the shoulders stay in line the whole time. Doing our best not to pike our butt up. Half done. More than half done. Yes. Good. Keep going. Last 20 seconds. All right, give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the knees, give the shoulders, the upper body a rest. Our final exercise for the upper body, we're doing a whole minute. We take a rest and then we repeat is shoulder tap, knee tap. So I come into a high plank position, I tap opposite shoulder, and then I tap hand to opposite knee, tap. I shoulder, shoulder, hand to knee, hand to knee, okay? So one minute, make your way up into high plank, time is going, and for this one, you can go fast if you have the balance, Otherwise, take it nice and slow and really work the exercise, finding contact with hand and knee, using the strength of that one arm to keep you stable, even when we add a lot of variety to our exercise. Good. Nice. We are half done with this first one. Whew. Last 20 seconds. If you're feeling good here, now is when you can pick up the pace moving a little bit faster. Oh, great gang, I know it's hard. I know the arms are tired, the wrists are tired. Give me 10. See if you can do two more rounds. Seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Oh my goodness. Let's give the shoulders a stretch before we continue on. Pull your butt back to your heels, walk your arms forward, let the chest melt between the arms. All right, start to shift the weight forward. Second set. If you need to drop your knees for these, you can drop your knees. But try to take it slowly if you need to and stay in that plank position. One minute, here we go. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap, hand and knee, hand and knee. Tap, tap, in and in. Sometimes when I work out, I have to give myself little verbal reminders of what I'm doing so I remember. So I go tap, tap, in, in, good. Hand to shoulder, hand to shoulder, hand to knee, hand to knee. Awesome, Bonnie. Look at that, we're already half done. Last upper body exercise of the day for strength. 
and then we're going to jump into our cardio. But our cardio today is a core-centric cardio. Exciting stuff. Last 15 seconds. Don't stop now. Even if you need to pause and plank, pause, but hold yourself up with the upper body. Good. Two more rounds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your knees. So our cardio today is a little different than normal. We have our three moves, but the first one we're actually going to do for our core on our back. So our three moves today are one, bicycles, two, high knee overhead punch, and three, mountain climbers. So we're moving the body in all kinds of different ways. We're on our back, we're standing, and we're on our hands. So everything is working for our cardio today. So our first 30 seconds, we're actually gonna start on our back. We have bicycles. We're going in four, three, two, and one. 30 seconds, work through it side to side, fast as you can. Good, find contact with elbow and knee. Woo, that's it. And we should be moving fast enough that we can get our heart rate elevated, even though we're on our backs. After this, we're gonna come up for double overhead punch high knees. Give me 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Rock and roll up to sit. Pop on up to stand. High knee, double overhead punch. Time is rolling. Hop on in. Knees up, arms up. Yes. And because we have variability in the different things that we're doing, we can push ourselves in each one a little bit more because we know there's a limited amount of time on our feet, our backs, and our hands. Yes. Get those arms moving, get those legs up. Last 10, Woo! Now we're moving. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last 30 seconds, mountain climbers ready and go. Up, up, up. Bring it home. Whew. Three. All right, let me see you go all out. After this, we're doing our question of the day and swapping out our bands. Last 15 seconds. Get those knees up, pump it, thumb at that peak. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and rest. Go ahead and swap out the bands. Grab a sip of water. Congratulate yourself on a job well done. Our question of the day is, what is your favorite place, of, or you're not your favorite place, what is your favorite thing about where you currently live? So for George, maybe it's the mountain, I don't know. <laughs> favorite facet or thing about your current living location? And I'm curious to see what you guys got. Those on Instagram, feel free to toss your answers into the comments as we swap out our bands. George says, rock climbing and skiing. I figured it was something outside. In, he's in Colorado. George, remind me, where in Colorado are you again? Jim says, rivers and brew pubs. Oh, yeah. Bonnie says, Desert. What, George? I just said I live in Arvada, which is in the kind of the northwest Denver metro area near the mountains. Gotcha. Bonnie says desert hikes. John says dive spear fishing and kiteboarding. Oh my goodness. These are awesome activities. I think doing any of these would be like the perfect day for me. He says pearl diving in SoCal. Jim, remind me, where are you located? Portland. 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 Nice. That's cool yeah. places. Yes, it is. <laughs> John says, ah, okay. We're working on our Zoom bomb. We're going. 
We're going to big distribution. All right. These are great activities. I would love to come visit any one of you and do any of these activities because these are darn fun. Here in Southern California, my favorite thing about where I live um, is probably the ocean, but also just California hiking and the fact that the weather is like, you know, 70 basically year round is pretty great. <laughs> but all the outdoors attributes are the thing that really uh, drew me into being here. All right. Leg bands are on. Water has been had. Yes, if not, please have a sip. I'm glad that we all quite enjoy where we live. <laughs> if anyone ever finds themselves in Southern California, once all this chaos is done, I would love a hello. And I'm always happy to take anyone on a hike or show them around. My home is your home. So just keep that in mind. All right, let's warm up the calves with sumo heel lifts. This is my favorite calf one. So step wide, angle the toes out, drop the knees. One minute, your choice. You can go side to side or you can go both at the same time. If your legs are not shaking by the end of these, I want you to drop lower or set your cycle higher, okay? We should be going full fatigue. One minute, here we go. You can either go side to side or you can do doubles. And I'm gonna lead by example and I'm gonna do doubles. And I'm sure as heck gonna be shaking at the end of it. Good, up and up. And as you're working into it, see if you can drop your butt a little bit lower. And I want my knees tracking over my toes to make sure we're not flopping in. And as we do this, we kind of tend to bob up and down. See if you can keep your shoulders even, no bobbing the whole time. And that's enough instruction. Let's just keep the other on. Half done. Already starting to feel that little shake. <laughs> Good. Last 15 seconds. Drop that butt even lower. Let's work through it. Give me 10. Eight more. Keep going. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And rest. Circle it out. <laughs> Two thumbs up if you were starting to feel a little shaky at the end of that. All right, all right, I'll take it. Other way. Let's set up for our second set. Angle those toes out. Drop down into your hips. Let's go. After doing these workouts with the bands, I realized that my calves were somewhat underdeveloped relative to the rest of the muscles in my body. And so it's been really cool to do these workouts, starting the lower legs, the lower body with the calves every time. It's been a fun journey just to experience my own personal weaknesses and places to explore and continue to grow. Oh my goodness, half done. Yeah, sink that butt down even lower. There we go. Woo! All right, last 15. Don't stop now. We made it this far. After this, we're going to get our heart rate up. And we're starting with bicycles. We get to come down onto our backs. Give me seven more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Wow! Whoa! All right, drop down onto your back. 30 seconds bicycles in three, two, one. Here we go, work it out. Good. As we do these, I like to flex my feet and imagine I'm pushing something away from me with those straight legs. Push, push, push. Yes, last 10. Give me eight more, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Roll on up to sit, hop on up to stand. Next 30 seconds, double overhead punch, high knees, ready, go. Good, get those arms up, fully extending, shoulder extension, reach, reach, reach. 
or punch, whichever you prefer. Awesome. Get it going, get it going. Now we're talking. Let's go all in. Give me 10. Then we're dropping down for mountain climbers. Then we're going to have a sip of water and keep going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. 30 seconds mountain climbers. Drop it down. Three, two, one. Climb it out. Good. Woo wee. Get that heart rate soaring. Because after this, we're coming up for a much simpler but specific specific exercise. So our heart rate is going to plummet. Half done. Yeah, George. Good. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone come on up to stand, grab your water. Next exercise. Very, very, very specific. The hamstring curl. So you can either hold on to a wall, a chair, your hip, something to give you stability. I'm starting with my left leg. I'm pulling my heel as high towards my butt as I can, release it halfway down. High as you can, halfway down. Now your knee is gonna wanna shoot forward here. Think about keeping your knees in line with one another. So we're going from 90, smaller angle, 90, smaller angle, okay? So we're doing 30 seconds per side. Notice if you want to do this or you want to do this. Really target this muscle. 30 seconds. Ready, set, here we go. Up, kick, kick. If you want to go fast, go fast, but try not to let that shin drop to a degree greater than 90. Up, up, up. Yes, keep your core engaged so that your lower back doesn't play out. If you feel like this muscle is going to cramp, that's kind of the point. We're contracting it a lot. Good. Last eight, seven, grow taller. Six, five, four, three, two, and switch. Right to the other side. Keep those knees even. Don't let it shoot forward. 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Heel the butt. Up, up, up. There we go. Make sure you're not slouching out. Keep pulling your knee back. Kick, kick. Curl, curl. And for some people, these might be darn near impossible. And for some people, these are a cakewalk. Really good way to determine the strength of your hamstrings. If your hamstrings are weak, these are going to be a world of hurt. Awesome. Last 10. Get that heel all the way up towards your butt. Go, go. Squeeze. Yes. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Aye. Feeling those muscles a bit. Yes, everyone's form looked good. We were standing up tall, we weren't compensating, and we weren't doing this. So let's do it again. Working into the left leg. If you want extra balance, hands on hips. Pull that left heel into 90 degrees. 30 seconds, three, two, and one. Pulse it up, up, up. Contract so much that you can get your heel to or almost to your butt. That's the goal here. Oh, looks great. Mm -hmm. So just how a tight hamstring can cause lower back pain, so can an underdeveloped hamstring. So if these muscles are not strong, they don't do a great job of supporting the glutes in our lower back. So it's important not only that we stretch them, but we also strengthen them. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last side. Get that leg up, pull the knee back, 30 seconds. Here we go. Keep engaging your core the whole time. Oh, <laughs> keep it up. Good. Awesome. Half down. See if you can grow a little bit taller. Yeah, last 10. Get that heel all the way up. Contract, burn, crunch. Five, four, three, two, and one, and done. Good job. All right. Next up, we are only getting our heart rate up one more time during this. We're going to do it later on in our practice. So this move is going to elevate the heart rate a bit. So we're going to make our way back down into plank position. So we just worked the hamstrings a lot. 
Let's counterbalance that by working the quads, back of the legs, and the front of the legs so we have a full body, well-rounded practice. I step my feet wider than hip distance. I press my butt back to my heels, come forward. Press my butt back, come forward. So not only are you working your quads, but you're also working your hip mobility, seeing how far back you can get your butt. We're doing a full minute. It's gonna be hard. Ready, set, let's go. If you like to add breath to help regulate the movement, inhale back, exhale forward. Inhale back, exhale forward. You can absolutely do this. I know you can. This is our last plank move of the day. You've already done like four minutes of plank. You can do one more. Awesome. Good. See if you can drop your butt down a little bit lower so we're not piking up. We're pulling our butt back, forward, back, forward. Awesome. Woo. Make sure those feet are wider than hip distance. So we're really getting into quads. Nice. Good. Last 20 seconds. Don't stop now. You can always pause and plank if you need to or pause and frog, but better be doing something than nothing. Get those butts even lower. I'm seeing a little bit of piking. Thank you. <laughs> Last 10. Woo, if you're not shaking, you can keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the knees. Press your butt back to your heels. Walk your hands back. Quad stretch. Release that muscle that we just worked. If you want more, pick your butt up off your heels. All right. We've got our second minute. Come forward. Step the feet back. Step them wide. One minute. Frog, plank. Frog, plank. None of this. Get low. I want your knees to be one inch off the ground the whole time you're pressing your butt back. Nice. Great. Mm hmm All right. Awesome. Keep going. Arms are strong. Last 25 seconds. Keep grooving. The quads are a very, very big muscle. Chances are after doing these, you may or may not even be sore. And if we're not sore, we're not always really building muscle as much. So we wanna go for that sore sensation. Last 10, keep going. Yes, good, give me three more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the knees. Drop your hips over to one side. Let's get the heart rate up. And then we'll move on to our next exercise, which lowers the heart rate significantly because we're targeting a specific area again. First 30 seconds, bicycles in three, two, one. Here we go, side to side. Try and keep your elbows wide. No building a cave here. <laughs> we want to work into the core. That's it. Half done. All right, give me 10 more. All in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Roll up to sit, hop up to stand, double overhead punch. Ready, set, go. High knees. This is the last time we're getting our heart rate up for the day. So let's make it great. All right, here we go. Good. Last 10, then we're dropping down for mountain climbers. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it down, mountain climbers, 30 seconds. We're grooving. Last set. Go, 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 yeah. <laughs> Great. 20 more seconds. Get those knees all the way into your nose. Use your core here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
All right. All in. Final burst of the day. Give me 10 more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody grab water. Come on up to stand. All right. So we've been working different sides of the muscles. We did back, we did front. Now we're gonna work the backs, the legs, and the glutes again. So it is a lunge hover. I step my right foot back, my left foot forward. I drop the back knee down, hover it, down, hover it. It's only 30 seconds. In my opinion, this is one of the hardest lower body exercises we're gonna do, just because it's so much concentration on the hamstring and glutes, it's a lot. And it'll make you really, really strong and in good control of your body. So let's get that back knee down to the ground. Lift it up an inch, down an inch, 30 seconds. We're rolling. Keep squeezing the right side of your tush the whole time. Try not to let that back knee lift more than a couple inches off the floor. So keep it really low. When we're bending the knee like that, we're contracting our hamstring and our glute is working to help support it. So it's essentially a hamstring curl, but with body weight added to it. Great. Last 10, get even lower work into it. Mm -hmm. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch legs, other side. Step the right foot forward, left foot back. Drop that back knee down, 30 seconds. Up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch. Keep going. Steve needs to leave the meeting. There's a chance when he leaves that the workout will stop. If that happens, we will pick where we're at tomorrow. Otherwise, keep going. Uh, Laurel, I'm going to assign you as a co as a host. Oh boy! So okay. when you so when you end the meeting, uh, it will just close. So go ahead That's and good. keep on working out. Yeah, keep working out, guys. Last ten okay. seconds. Thanks, Steve. Good. <laughs> 